Honored guests, you may be seated. We are gathered here today, this glorious evening, to celebrate the love that Travis and Brittany have for each other and to witness their decision to journey together as husband and wife. Today's ceremony is about love. It is about the love of the two people before you, the power of love to heal and transform, and the belief that with love, all things are possible. Who gives this woman in marriage to this man? The mom and I do. Well, Travis, Brittany, the days and years ahead of you, you will remember today as one of the best days of your life. You will also enjoy times together that you never would have enjoyed on your own. You know, life is not perfect. There will also be some bumps in the road. I think if you ask any of the married couples out before you today, they will tell you that staying happily married and enjoying marriage during the good times, well, that's relatively easy. It's the challenges that you will face together as life is life that will test your marriage. So if you ever hit a rough spot, I want you to think back on these words of advice. Always remember to let your love be stronger than your anchor. Also, be sure to learn the wisdom of compromise, for it is better to bend than it is to break. Be sure to look for the best in your spouse instead of the worst. Always confide in your partner, and be sure to ask for help when you need it. Treat your spouse with the same courtesies and kindnesses you bestow upon your friends. Remember that true friendship is the basis for any lasting relationship, and most importantly, be sure to say I love you at least once each and every day. Since the dawn of man, men and women have been united in marriage in all lands and cultures. In marriages everywhere, this is a time for two individuals to leave the homes that nurtured them and to begin a new family of their own. At this time, I'd like to ask the parents of Travis and Brittany to please stand and bless this marriage. To you, Molly and Roy, Alicia and Jean and Bertha, who have lovingly raised and nurtured these two individuals, offer your blessing for their marriage, promising to support them, guide them, understand them, and encourage them in the years ahead. If you agree, please say, we do. We do. Thank you. You may be seated. Travis and Brittany have written their own vows to each other. And I will now ask them to recite their vows, and then we will proceed with some questions I have for both of them. Travis, if you would please go first. made me feel complete from the day you walked into my life. And today our two lives become officially one life walking down the same path. I promise to you that my heart, mind, and soul are yours forever. I promise to love you unconditionally beyond the end of time. I promise to give my life to making your dreams and wishes come true. I will encourage and support you in everything you desire. Since you came into my life, you have inspired and encouraged me at every turn. And I only hope that I can show you a fraction of the support you have shown me. As much as I would love for our new journey to be all sunshine and frozen yogurt, I know there will be times of thunderstorms and even tornadoes. I promise that I will be there to shelter you through those storms and will never give up, no matter how torrential the rain. I'll be your shoulder to cry on, your boat in the flood, and your stone pillar when it seems like all you can find is sand to stand on. You mean the world to me. Without you, I would be nothing. You are truly the woman of my dreams and more special than anyone could imagine. You are more amazing than anyone this world has ever seen before or will ever see. You make me so incredibly happy that it should be illegal. <laughs> and there is nobody in the world that I would rather be standing here pledging my life to than you. <laughs> and Brittany will now 
recite her vows, which I understand she has not made notes. So she's a very brave young lady. Here you go. I have your promise to be faithful and always support you, even if they are a little crazy. Well, if you want to go to concrete, then I'll help you, even though you already meant that. Well said, both of you. For those of you sitting out there, as a very, very uh, difficult challenge to stand up in an emotional time like this and recite your own vows. My congratulations to both of you. But I have some questions for each of you in order to make this legal. They make me do this. <laughs> You know, Brittany, Travis, you know, marriage is a precious gift. It is a lifelong dedication to love and a daily challenge to love one another fully, freely, and unconditionally. So with this understanding, do you, Travis, take Brittany to be your beloved wife? Do you promise to be a tender and faithful husband? Do you promise to love and cherish her in sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, for better, for worse, and keep yourself only unto her? If so, please answer, I do. And Brittany, with this understanding, do you take Travis to be your beloved husband? Do you promise to be a tender and faithful wife? Do you promise to love and cherish him in sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, for better, for worse, and keep yourself only unto him? If so, please answer, I do. I do. Travis and Brittany have chosen rings as the outward symbols of the commitment that they are making today. From the earliest of time, the ring has been a universal symbol of wedded love. It is an unbroken a never-ending circle that symbolizes a commitment to love that is also unbroken and never-ending. You see perfect circles. I want you to think of these rings not as locks binding you together, but as keys unlocking the secrets of your heart for each other to know. Now, Travis, as you place this ring on Brittany's ring finger, please repeat after me. This ring, this ring, a gift for you, gift for you. Symbolizes, my desire, symbolizes my desire that you be my wife, that you be my wife from, this day forward. from this day forward. And now, Brittany, as you place the ring on Travis's ring finger, please repeat after me. This ring, this ring a, gift for you, a gift for you, symbolizes my desire, symbolizes my desire that you be my husband you. from this day forward. Travis and Brittany have elected to do a unity sand ceremony as a representation of the commitment that they are making today. The container here represents Travis, all that he was, all that he is, and all that he will ever be as an individual. They also represent all the individual decisions that he has made, the moments, the feelings that he has had that has gone into making him the person that he is. And on this side, we also have a container for Brittany. And it, represents all that she was, all that she is, and all that she will ever be as an individual. Also representing all of the separate feelings, emotions, and decisions that went into her becoming the fine young lady that she is today. As they pour the containers into the third container, the sands will be forever intermingled, just as their lives will be forever intermingled. And just as you can never separate the sands back into their individual containers, so will their marriage be. never be apart the joining of two separate lands the joining of two hearts nothing left but all is
Travis, Brittany, the mountains of North Georgia were once home to Native American Indians. They surely walked the very ground we stand upon today. I would now read to you a Native American wedding blessing that really applies to people of all lands and all cultures. It goes like this. Now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be shelter to the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be warmth to the other. Now there will be no loneliness, for each of you will be companion to the other. Now you are two persons, but there is but one life before you. May beauty surround you both in the journey ahead and through all your years. Treat yourselves and each other with respect and remind yourselves often of what brought you together. Give the highest priority to gentleness, tenderness, and kindness that your connection deserves. And when frustration and difficulty assail your relationship, as they do all relationships at one time or another, be sure to focus on what is right instead of what seems wrong. And remember that even though you cannot see the sun, it is still there. And if each of you takes responsibility for the quality of your life together, it will be marked with abundance and delight. Travis, Brittany, having witnessed your vows of marriage for all who are assembled here by the authority vested in me by the state of Georgia, I announce with great joy that you are now husband and wife. Travis, if you're ready, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, on the seats, there are little containers of bubbles. At this time, I would ask that you pull those out. And if you would, help us celebrate Mr. and Mrs. Travis Christensen. <laughs>